Photoshop CC 2021 and in the Lightroom CC Classics now have the more control over the color grading. The new feature called color grading is insane and it is available in the Camera Raw 13.0 and also in the Lightroom Classic version. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the details of this brand new color grading options. So now let's get started. As we already know, Photoshop CC 2021 has some great new feature for us. And I already made a video of all the new features of the new version of Photoshop CC. If you want, you can check the video. The link is on the description. And in this video, I'm going to talk about all the details of the option color grading. And this is the new options in Photoshop Camera Raw 13.0 and this is also available in the Lightroom version. In the previous version, there was a split tuning option and now it is color grading. And now we have more controls over the color and this is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, now let's get into the color grading option. Okay, now I am in the Camera Raw and here is the new option called color grading. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, okay, there is a three circle it looks all are same right but their purposes are different one is for midtone the top one this one this circle is for the midtones and this one for the shadows and this one for the highlights and now you can ask what is the midtones and what is the highlights and what is the shadows okay for understanding the better the basics i am gonna work with a grayscale color palette and now look at this carefully look at the color palette very carefully this one is the bright area first two this one is bright the brighter area and this one is the darker area and in the middle portion it's not too much dark and also it's not too much bright so here the brighter part is called the highlights and the darker part is called the shadows and in the middle portion, it's not dark, it's not bright. So this portion is called the midtones. I think now you are clear what is highlights, what is shadows, and what is midtones. And now come back to these three circles. They have the same options: midtones, shadows, and the highlights. And they have also a extra option called global. Okay, now focus on these three circles. We'll talk about the global later. But this three is very tiny to work. You can work on them by separately by clicking on these three icons. Look at these shadows, midtones, and highlights. Just click on this and you will get them separately with lots more controls. Look at this. It's fine. So now I am on the shadows option. This circle is for shadows. So now if you play with this circle, the shadows area, the darker areas will be affected just click and play with this circle like this look at this look at the darker areas it is changing right so this area is gonna work on the shadows area the darker areas and here you can move the wheel and change the hue and by this point look at this dragging like this you can control the saturation look at this by pressing and hold shift and now you can change the saturation of a particular color just like this you can see there is a line yes it's increase the saturation and decrease the saturation so it's very easy to use now and in the blue you can change the hue and saturation more specifically more accurately by the slider it's very easy to use okay let's use a bluish color in the shadows and by the luminance slider you can control the brightness of the color or darkness of the color look at this look at this so i'm giving a little bit bluish color uh, in the shadows for this now and now go to the mid-tone areas and this part is mainly the midtones right okay now uh, let's apply some cyan color oh look at this look at this okay 
you can change the color from the hue bar from here also and you can change the saturation from the slider also that's fine okay let's increase the uh, luminance a little bit i think yeah so it looks good look at this and now come into the highlights option and this area is the brightest area okay so the highlighted area is this area okay let's apply some yellowish color yellowish green color now look at this look at the area it's beautiful right okay let's let's decrease the luminance a little bit okay all the way down so look at the color palette now okay press q to see the before and after okay, look at this this was the before and this is after it was a total gray scale color palette and now look at this it is a colorful color palette so this is the power of color grading it is very very powerful okay i forgot the two sliders here they are very important also they are blending and one is balance in the blending slider by default it is 50 if you decrease the value all the way down it will split the color it will separate the color it is not blended look at this okay let's do it again decrease it and look at the color look at the changing look at this it is not blended it's not blended with this one it's not blended with this one they are now separate and if you put 100 in the blending look at this look at the difference this was when it is in zero and look at the changing of colors it is in 100 they are now blended to each other every color is blended so with this slider you can blend the colors properly and then the balance slider okay let's decrease it to uh, gradually decrease it to minus 100 and look at this look at the difference look at this look at the darker areas okay let's do it again and see the colors see the changing of colors very carefully look at this the color of the darker areas are now prominent we applied the blue colors in the darker areas in the shadows and now look at this the whole color plate is now bluish the blue is more prominent in the color palette right okay okay let's uh, increase it now gradually and see look at this look at this the color is now shifting to the highlights look at this we apply the a little bit yellowish greenish color in the highlights and now look at this they are more prominent right so by this option you can control the balance of the color of the highlights and shadows by the slider okay let's put it zero okay there is an another option called global this is the circle for the global option by this option you can add a particular color over the images over all of the colors okay think it as a solid color layer with lot more controls like if you want to add the green colors over all it let's use the green color you can now look at this all the colors are blended with the green look at this see the before and after this was the look at this this was the before and this is the after applied the green as a global color see the difference this was the before and this is after it's amazing right so i hope you get all the basic things now let's jump with a practice image to see the result in real life let's jump into the photoshop so this is the picture i'm gonna work with okay uh, let's make a copy by pressing ctrl and j and then convert it to a smart object and now open it on camera or filter and now come into the color grading option look at this okay press q to see the before and after okay look at this picture this picture is a little bit uh, cooler type of look i want to uh, give a little bit warmer look all right uh, so okay let's start with the highlights so in the highlights i want to add some a uh, little bit yellowish color okay let's use this type of color uh, so okay let's decrease it a little bit i think this color and saturation i think it's fine okay let's increase the luminance a little bit not too much i think yeah it looks fine it looks a little bit warm the skin tone uh and now come into the mid tones okay now tell me which area are the mid tones in this picture the skin the face right okay let's use a uh, 
little bit orange -ish color uh, to the mid tones i think around i think this color or this color uh decrease or increase the luminous little bit to increase the brightness of the color i think yeah it's fine okay decrease the saturation just a little i think saturation i think it's fine right okay so mid tones i think it looks perfect and now go to the shadows option and tell me which area are the shadows which areas are the dark this part the background right and the trace also okay so here i want to give a let's use a little bit uh reddish color increase the saturation and see the difference wow okay this time i want to decrease the luminance because in the darker areas i want to use the darker colors increase the saturation a little bit okay let's use the yellowish type color more you can increase the saturation to see the before and after now look at this okay now look at this this was the before and this is after look at the difference who just did it by using the one option the color grading option this is absolutely great look at this so you can uh, create a little bit warm color tone you can create a little bit uh, cooler color tone it's very easy now just play with this circle it's it's easy uh, okay you can also play with the uh, blending and balance option look at this it's more warm look and now look at this i think yeah it looks good let's play with the balance option look at the difference look at this it creates a real moody type of color grading and this is great and now you will get more uh brighter color look at this I think it's beautiful features in camera raw okay uh, I think it's fine it looks good okay now press okay and see the before and after it looks great so I think you have the idea you have the basics idea of color grading now if you have any questions just comment on the comment section I'll try to answer them and if you love this tutorial hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe